In this video, we'll look at whether N2 is ionic or covalent. Short answer, it's a covalent compound, also called molecular. When we look at the periodic table, we see we have nitrogen right here, and it's a nonmetal. So we have a nonmetal. This is nitrogen, so it's a nonmetal. We have a nonmetal and a nonmetal bonded together. That's going to be a covalent compound, also called molecular. We can look at electronegativity as well to figure out whether a compound is ionic or covalent. So here's the periodic table, and we have the electronegativity values underneath each element. We find nitrogen again, and it says 3.0. So each one has an electronegativity value of 3.0. When we're deciding whether a compound like N2 is ionic or covalent, we're looking at the difference in electronegativity. So this chart here shows us if we have something that is less than 0.5, the difference in electronegativity is less than 0.5, that's going to be nonpolar covalent. Over here, if it's greater than 2, that's ionic. And then we have this kind of in-between polar covalent. 3.0 minus 3.0, that's 0. So N2 is going to be a nonpolar covalent compound. This is Dr. B answering the question whether N2 is ionic or covalent. It is nonpolar covalent. Thanks for watching.